This video is going to show you how to customize the heading of the home page in your D2L course. In previous versions of D2L, we didn't have the ability to customize this header. We were stuck with the course title and the course ID number and kind of a long drawn out header. But now we have the option whether or not we want to include that at all and what we want that header to say. In this sample course that I'm going to use right now, there isn't a header being used at all. Your course may have a header or it may not. Either way, the process of editing it requires us to go to the screen where we can edit the home page of our course. So to get there, I'm going to select Edit Course, and then I'm going to click on the Home Pages link, which, if you've got it grouped by categories, is found in the Site Setup area. And here is where I can edit and create home pages for my course. Now, if you've never messed with home pages before, probably you're using the course default, which is one that's created by Oklahoma City University. That one you can't edit. However, you can create a copy of that home page and edit it to your heart's content. I have already have a couple of copies created that I can use, but if you want to create your own copy, you simply select Copy from that little drop-down menu. It will copy the current home page into one that you can actually edit. So I'm going to go ahead and click on one of my edited home pages. And here I've got, I can see that I want to focus on the header area. I can also make other changes to the home page of my course if I want from the screen, but for now we're going to focus on the header. So I make sure that include home page header is selected, and then here I can type a title, which is what I've done in this example. I've selected sample home page title. Um, I also am going to make an edit to the name of my course so I know which of the home pages to select. So I'm going to put created January 2014, so that I'll know that this is the one I want to use. I make the home page say what I want, hit save and close, and then from the active home page list, I need to select that one that I just edited and click apply. And now this is going to say the course default created January 2014 is set as the active home page. So when I go to the home page of the course, I can see my sample home page title appears right there. Now let's say you want it to say the course name of your course and you don't want to have to go about typing all of that. I can actually use a replacement string to put in the header for the home page. So I'm going to go back to home pages, I'm going to go back in to edit the one I'm using, and I see here I have a link that says what replace strings can I use in a custom title. I'm going to click on that, and this brings up a list of all of the replacement strings that I can use in the title. And replacement strings are something you can use throughout D2L, but I'll show you how they work specifically here. Notice that I've got swirly brackets and a bunch of different options. I want to use name of the org unit because in D2L speak, org unit means class. So I see if I want that to show up as the header, I do swirly brackets with org unit name. So I'm going to close this little helper box and I'm going to type swirly brackets, org unit name, swirly brackets. I'm going to save and close that. Now that's the one that I'm currently selected to use, so I don't have to make any changes there. Now I'm going to go back to the horse home, and now you can see that the name of the course is what's showing up. It's no longer the text that I clicked, it's actually the name of the course. Now you as the instructor have the option if you want to use the name of the course, if you want to use a different custom heading. Um, check with your dean if you have any specific questions on the requirements for your college, but otherwise I've shown you the technical requirements on how to make those changes to the heading of your course.